Delirium says, can you maybe talk about approaches to scoring for picture? That's a big one. I can give you some general practices. You want to make sure that you are on the audience's team, essentially. So when I say that, what I mean is you're reacting with the audience, not with the storytellers. So, you know, sometimes the, you, you might think when you've seen this whole story, you've seen the, the, the whole film, you understand things that the audience doesn't at certain points. You you know what's going to happen. Um, and it can be very tempting to to treat it that way. So, you know, a character comes on that's going to be the bad guy but hasn't been exposed as a bad guy yet. Do not, do not give him evil music. You don't want to give that away for the audience. You want to follow the audience's perspective so you realize with the audience that he's the bad guy. It's really important that you are doing that because if you don't, the audience feels preached on, like you're telling them everything. And the audience likes to figure things out for themselves. The audience wants the opportunity to discover things about the story. So with that said, the other thing you want to do is, and the, the best way kind of to approach that is react with the audience after things happen. Um, it's a really great practice. So when hits happen on a visual level, hit happens, you want to hit that a couple frames later. I think usually three frames is the rule of thumb. That's if somebody knows something different, you can correct me on the chat. Um, three frames because, uh, that's how much it takes for the eye to actually process that something happened. If you hit it right on the beat, it's going to it's gonna feel a little off. In fact, it might even feel early. You'd be amazed when you watch a film. Pay attention to, with a good score, at what point the music reacts to the emotions. It's usually like a second or two forward. Um, sometimes even longer if it's like a very, very large realization. I'm thinking of like the Incredible scene, for example, when um, Mr. Incredible is in front of the computer. The the build to that, you know, they don't uh, they don't elude very early that something's wrong. They just they give you that sense of unease that he has, and then as he's realizing they're starting to push and push and push. Another really good thing you can do in film scoring is don't pay attention to what the characters are saying. Pay attention to what they're thinking because the audience already has the information in front of them as to what a character is saying. All the visual information, all the auditory information, assume that they've got that. So what is music going to contribute? It should contribute something that's not seen and not spoken. And usually that's the inner emotions of the character. So a character might say, I hate you. But what they really are saying is like, you betrayed me. I feel betrayed. And so the music can play into their emotions and you get this juxtaposition or this like dichotomy the split between what they're saying and what you know that they're feeling because the music is the only thing that's going to tell you what they're actually feeling so it's really good to use music and push that forward it's challenging to do that because when you're excited about scoring something or at least for me it's very easy to just want to jump in but it's worth taking some time to think about the perspective of the characters emotionally. Also, restraint is, is really important, you know? Making sure that you don't, you know, when you have a theme, don't throw it all in at once. Don't just give the theme in its entirety. Um, How to Train Your Dragon is an excellent example of that. Uh, the theme kind of comes to life at Test Drive when the characters finally bond. But before that was only alluded to very subtly in little hints and motives and things like that throughout. So that their friendship wasn't fully realized until they go on that ride together. And so why should the theme be fully realized? You know, look at the growth of the characters and at what point their themes should be like fully realized. It's fascinating. Um, the subject of scoring is like so vast and endless and psychological and, and interesting, but yes, it takes a lifetime of study for sure. So hopefully that answers your question.